पिछले सेशनों में हम लोग देखते आए हैं आप लोग बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं कितना करना चाहिए कैसे करना चाहिए आज का जो टॉपिक है दैट इज एवेल्युएशन या जिसको हम बोल देते हैं टेस्ट एंड मेयरमेंट जो ट्रेनिंग कोच दे रहे हैं चाहे वो इंडोरेंस किया है चाहे टेक्निकल किया है चाहे टेक्टिकल चाहे साइकोलॉजिकल चाहे फिजिकल फिजिकल में चाहे स्पीड के लिए चाहे स्ट्रेंथ के लिए चाहे इंडोरेंस के लिए उस ट्रेनिंग का आपने बॉक्सरों को क्या अफेक्ट है क्या वो इंप्रूव कर रहे हैं या डिक्रीज हो रहे हैं इन सभी चीजों का दो प्रकार से हमें पता चलता है एक कंपटीशन रिजल्ट्स और दूसरा टेस्ट एंड मेयरमेंट्स तो आज का जो टॉपिक है मिस्टर सेंटेगो हैज प्लान अबाउट ऑल द टेस्ट विच आर कंडक्टेड आज उन लोगों ने सारे के सारे वो टेस्ट जो एक ट्रेनिंग पीरियडाइजेशन के दौरान कोचेज के द्वारा किए जाते हैं उसके ऊपर प्लान आउट किया है तो इट इज माई हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड ऑल माई कोचेज मेरी अपने सभी दोस्तों से यही एक रिक्वेस्ट है बेनती है कि आप लोग आज का जो सेशन है उसको बहुत ध्यान से मिन्यूटली नोट भी करें देखें भी और कहीं भी आपको कोई डाउट लगता है यू शुड नॉट हेजिटेट आप लोगों को किसी भी प्रकार की कोई हिचकिटाहट नहीं होनी चाहिए बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ ए सेशन यू मस्ट कम विद गुड क्वेश्चन व्हाई एंड वेयर क्यों कब इन दो चीजों के ऊपर बहुत ज्यादा स्ट्रेस दिए विद दीज वर्ड्स आई वेलकम माय फ्रेंड मिस्टर सेंटेगो टू कैरी ऑन द सेशन थैंक यू ओके ओके वी गोना टॉक अबाउट द फिजिकल टेस्ट टुडे वी वर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी एनी बॉक्सिंग स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट but physical test where we can evaluate strength power and aerobic endurance and uh, aerobic endurance um this is universal tests which uh, are used in in uh, many sports in in many in many other countries um and it we have uh, it's a test battery that we are using in the um, elite men team and now also it has been introduced a variation of these tests in um, in the kelo india program yes yes okay so why do we want to test what are we going to test um so why because it helps the coach it enables the coach to assess the success of the training program so basically we can we evaluate what we are doing is it is it good is there any improvement um is is it uh, uh useful to do this should we change and um, for all of this it's good to to sometimes test and see uh, get some some uh, numbers maybe hopefully on on um, on the things to see the improvement and um, also it can indicate weaknesses so where we have weakness we're not we're not strong enough we're not powerful enough and something that will harm us to reach our full potential um it also helps us to individualize training programs um especially like here in india we are training big groups many boxers and all boxers uh, are, are doing the same and some boxer maybe doesn't need that much uh, aerobic training maybe needs more on the power or or somebody else needs more on the strength um so with this testing the physical um, qualities we can see okay this boxer needs more of a, of a certain type of training uh, another thing is also to motivate the athlete wait i will remove these annotations and um, to, to motivate the athlete to to usually they, they want to know they, they they want to to get uh, see if they are rewarded all the hours all the training hours hundreds of hours they they are training uh, and to to get um <clears throat> a test result a positive test result is very very motivating to see they have improved okay since last year they are putting all this work and is there any improvement yes we we have uh, reduced our times or we have improved our our um, our weight in, in the strength exercise etc um, <clears throat> so what do we test so number one we are testing uh, physical qualities uh, so we are uh, testing the strength the power the aerobic capacity and the anaerobic capacity so uh, last session there was some confusion about the strength and power people couldn't uh, really didn't understand the, the difference 
So strength is, is the maximum force that I exert in, in, uh, in, a, in a maximum in an exercise. And the power is the, the, uh, the, uh, the speed which I can do, uh, do it. So to do that force exercise in as quick as possible. Um, so there is a difference between the, the strength and the power. And we want the strength to be able to convert into power. Otherwise, it's not that much useful for us. Um, then we have the aerobic uh, test where, where we work from, from, from low intensity to high intensity, but with the presence of uh, oxygen. And uh, anaerobic muscle endurance where we work all out without the um, requirement of uh, oxygen. Uh, shorter time, but very tough. Uh, so the uh, exercises that uh, we are using for this test, uh, uh, or we have chosen uh, based on that, <clears throat> number one, that they actually measure the physical quality. Number two, that we don't need hundreds of exercises. With the less amount of exercises, we want to be able to, to test the physical quality. Um, it has to be practical without a lot of equipment. Um, <clears throat> so these uh, tests, uh, that is on this slide. Uh, we are doing them over two days, basically one and a half days. And if you look at the strength, I will try to. There are three exercises. Uh, hand grip. We will show that one here practically. The squat, uh, back squat, uh, and bench press. So these these three exercises for strength. Uh, if you see on this column, it says under 17, which means that for young boxers or boxers without any training experience, we don't do the squat. Um, because it's, it's a heavy exercise. It's, it, if you don't have a good technique with, with a heavy weight, it can be a little dangerous. So under 17, we don't use that um, exercise. Um, if we look at the power, we have the clean. Same thing there. Under 17, we don't use that exercise. Uh, we will show that one here. Uh, then we have three types of jumps. Squat jump, counter movement jumps, and counter movement jump with arms. We, uh, we'll show that exercise also. And then sprints, 10, 20, and 30 meters. We actually measure the 10 meters, the 20, and the 30 meters. So all these exercises to measure the power. Then the aerobic capacity. Uh, we do a Cooper test over 3,000 meters, seven and a half laps on a, on a track. Uh, the, best, the best would do to actually do a, a, a VU2 max test on, on the treadmill um, with, with a mask and, and measure the, the maximum uh, oxygen uptake. Uh, but for practical reasons, we used to do this um, Cooper test. There are a lot of other tests as well, but this has a good correlation with a VU2 max, which is the best. They're saying that even better than this would be 10,000 meters. But to practically for us, 3,000 meters is pretty good. Um, then we have the anaerobic muscle endurance tests. And then we have maximum pull-ups uh, on bar, uh, parallel bar dips, maximum also num repetitions. Brutal bench, I will show an exercise. Um, and then we have a shuttle run of 150 meters, which we do two times after three minute rest, we, we repeat. And these exercises marked with an X, we don't do with the younger, younger boxers. We will look at some of the tests we have done with the elite men boxers. Here is a squat, maximum squat, see the weight is quite heavy uh, and the boxer he has to go down minimum 90 degrees to the floor with the upper thigh and pref preferably lower for the test to be to, to be successful here is the brutal bench which is an um, anaerobic muscle endurance up until they, they cannot come up anymore he has to touch with his elbows 27, 28, and there he didn't come up. He has to touch with the elbows to the knees, 
and do maximum number. Here is a maximum clean, or actually power clean, where he has to go from the from the knees or from the floor up to the, with the weight to the shoulders. There, good balance. It's successful test. Maximum sprint, 30 meters, and we measure up to 10, 20, and 30 meters. See how much speed and power they can generate in 30 meters. And this is the anaerobic test, 150 meters times, times two. They run five, five meters, 10 meters, 15, 20, and 25, two times. And here we can see the power test, the um, counter movement jump with arms. Just to jump as high as possible. 29.6, 29.7, And this is the pull-ups on bar, the thumbs against each other. This is edited, the video, so it looks like it does only five, but it's actually doing around, around 20, I think. And the same, with the dips on bar, 25. Okay, these were some of the tests. I hope the video um, was, you were able to see the video. We'll share the screen again. Okay, <clears throat> this chart shows the points scale of uh, the tests. So these red ones, I, I, will, I will annotate here. These red ones says one, two, and three points means that the, <clears throat> the, the performance is too low. So these, these ones, if we have exercises here on strength, on power, on aerobic and anaerobic, these are the most important to improve and take them here to four, five, or six points. And of course, if we can take four, five, six points to seven, eight, nine, ten, here, here is good. But seven, eight, nine, ten here, based on what we know, what we have seen from other countries, from, from uh, other tests that, that have been done, this is uh, the level where world class boxers um, sh uh, should be. Um, <clears throat> But if they are here, four, five, six, they are, still, they are still good enough. But problem is when they are here, one, two, and three. If we take the aerobic, the Cooper test. So if they run on 12, 15, we can see here, 12, 15. That's, that's uh, too low for the aerobic capacity. Means this boxer, every time we put more load uh, on this boxer, it will be def very difficult for, for him or her to to recover fast enough. So these numbers we want to take down here. And if we look at our best boxers, those boxers who boxing in, in the Asian games, in, in the Olympics, and, and we can see that compared to those boxers that don't, that are also in the national team, but they don't reach the, the the same level, they don't participate in these competitions. They are maybe number four, number five, number six. Uh, we can see that also at the physical level, our top boxers are more often here in the high end, less often in the low end compared to the, uh, the lower, lower level boxers. Okay, so this, this is the system we used in uh, Sweden. Physical tests uh, I've used in, in, when I was coaching in Argentina, we, we had a, a Cuban system. They had their physical tests similar, not exactly the same, not as uh, sophisticated, I would say at the, at the lower level, but we, we had, we had um, uh, some physical tests. And they were, we, we had um, also in, in, uh, when we were in, in training camps abroad. So we have seen 
a lot of, of how other countries uh, are working. But I, I would say this, for me, I'm very familiar with this. So of course, it's very, very functional for me. But it, it is also the most practical and I would say the best that I have seen. Um, so these boxers, based on the points table, here you have to see, we have to weigh the boxers. This boxer 54.6 kilos because the squat, the bench press, the cleans are based on the body weight. So 75 kilo in a squat for a boxer that weighs 54.6 gives him 5.5 points on the squat. On the bench press, he has 10 points. But his strength index here is 5.5. If you go down to looking at the power, the cleans, the jumps, the sprints, his power index is 4.4, so it's lower than the strength. Meaning that probably he doesn't get paid for all the strength that he has because he cannot convert it into power. This is a, a very young boxer, so, so the, um, the numbers here are not, are not terrific. His Cooper test, 1125, giving him 4.8 on this scale, so it's, it's uh, <clears throat> above three, but you can see here in the sprint, he has all, all above three points, uh, sorry, below three points, which is, which is uh, too low. Uh, in some exercises here, dips, he has 9.7, 29 dips, 24 in brutal bench, so actually his best is the anaerobic muscular endurance. Here he's, he's the, the best. But this boxer, he would need a, a better base of aerobic and little, little more power. You can say strength is the base for power. And aerobic is the base for, for the anaerobic and the strength also. So the strength is base both for the power and for the anaerobic muscle endurance together with the aerobic. So you could basically say that power and anaerobic muscle en endurance, it's, it's more our performance quality. There we want to, to, to be ve very high, we want to be very high here. But to actually achieve that over time and with less injuries, we need a good base, the strength and the aerobic capacity. Okay, so this is one of, uh, this is an example, one of our boxers, and we see the test results in 2017, in 2018, and 2019. And here is 2020, we're still, still not there yet. But so what, what we want to see, we want to see is there, is there any improvement, all the hundreds of hours that we put into, into the physical training, are they actually improving? And if we look at this boxer, all these green marks, is his best score and most of the best scores he had had in 2019 and some of them in 2018 and all the scores he had in 2017 have been improved so for this boxer uh, his, his uh, physical um, uh, performance has, has improved for example uh, two, two years ago he squat 80 then uh, 85 and now 95 here we don't know this is obviously not not uh, possible to improve all the time every single uh, quality or every single exercise but somehow it, it should show some improvement bench press from 70 to 75 to 80 the jumps from 32 to 35 to almost 38 from 34 to 37 to 40, from 42 to 45 to almost 52, etc. So we can see that this boxer, with the training, has become a little more explosive. He has become a little stronger. Um, his Cooper test 11.28, the first year 10.33, and 10.50. So here he did not improve, but still still pretty good under 11 minutes uh, and in the anaerobic test also uh, very good numbers um, in the sh shuttle run 
from 3520 to 3381 to 3364 in brutal bench 1519 okay now 17 in chin-ups pull-ups 17 22 21 etc so here we can see clear that okay this boxer is is uh, improving he's also working very hard so it doesn't surprise us not all boxers you will see this improvement but this is what we try okay when we test we there are some things that we need, need to take into consideration there are some factors that can influence the test results so the temperature sometimes it's very very hot the humidity the time of the day so all these things should should be similar in the previous time so if you have taken one test in the morning uh, one time should be similar time of the day under similar conditions to, to otherwise it can um, can show different and there are many factors that, that uh, it will be difficult to, to actually read the test uh, the, the amount of sleep and the time since the last meal of the boxers also sometimes uh, difficult to, to control um, inappropriate warm-up can affect the, the test result the quality of the test environment this is a good track is the road or the equipment etc uh, the emotional state of the athlete is he motivated to to take the test is it is he uh, is he doing actually a maximum effort and and here it's very much up on the coaches to motivate the athletes to to give the uh, the best their all best and uh, understand also why we're doing these tests otherwise the, the test loses very much its effect uh, the athletes prior test knowledge and experience first time they, they test you you cannot uh, use that uh, because maybe they have not done the exercises the best is of course if they, they are familiar with exercises since before but if they have never done the test first time but on, on second time third time uh, usually the, the improvement is, is pretty fast um, if there is a lot of people present, they can feel, a lot of athletes feel pressure when they do the test. Some, some, some guys hate the test. They, they, feel, um, they, they, they feel nervous, they feel stressed about the test. They, they, they don't want to get a bad result, etc. This stress can also affect them. But usually when they have done the test a couple of times, those things disappear. Uh, the accuracy of the measurements. The times, the distance, the, the, the here is very important, the standardization of the test, so that it should not depend on which coach took the test, and some also will get a higher score or not. Um, when you're counting, especially the, the chin-ups, the, the dips, uh, some of the exercises, um, you, have to, you have to be fair to everybody, um, and you, you have to standardize, okay, this is, this is, um, a successful test and this is not okay and this is for all from the first test to the last test and when we test ne next time same um, personality knowledge experience of the tester um, th this is important sometimes it's uh, first time you take the test can, can be a little uncomfortable um, you don't feel um, <clears throat> really confident uh, but with experience uh, it should work pretty good pretty well um, okay, we will show some of the tests here. Um, okay, so we will we will start um, clean, uh, power clean, which is a, a good exercise to learn. We said that we don't test young boxers, 16, 17, maybe from 17, they are familiar with exercise. We can test this exercise for power, but it's because it's pretty technical um, we don't use it for, for beginners yes you can do it with the bar with the bar wheel then we put some weight so this is only with the bar he has to go down and put it up on his shoulders to carry the balance one we can do one more after the next exercise okay take it down put on the five kilo weight Now, he will do one repetition maximum. Let's see. 
down to the, to the knees and jump it up. Upper body, without any problem. Yes. Okay, thank you. Very easy for chemo, it's very, very fit. We can pull, we can use the, the thank you, but we don't want to injure, injure you. So uh, we will stop there. So this is one good test for power. Uh, another test for power are the jumps. So we will show the three jumps that we use. This, for this, you need equipment. So in the Kelo India program, they have promised that they will get this equipment. Um, but if you don't have this equipment, there are other jump tests which are not as reliable always. But with this, uh, we, we will show it without the equipment. Let's see if you can see it. So the first test is the squat jump. In the squat jump, you cannot bounce. Here we measure the, the explosive power of, of legs and core. And you cannot use the arms. So you put the arms on the side. You go down to your strongest jumping position here. And on my signal, Kima will jump up as high as possible and bounce on the toes when he lands. Let me see, I will put Kima there. Okay, down, up. You saw he released his hands, so that's not valid. We give it, he has three chances. Okay, down, up. That one was good. Let's say 30 centimeters. One more. Good, 30.1. That was the squat jump. Hey, Kima, what's the telephone? <laughs> Let's go with the, the second uh, for power. Now, the counter movement jump. Still, he cannot use his arm here, but now I bounce down and jump up. Sorry? Without? Yes, yes, without command. Um, so here also we, we include the intermuscular coordination and the muscle elasticity in, in this exercise. So without command, when he's ready, down and up. And usually here, they are 10, 12% 10, higher. So if he jump 30 centimeters in the first one, let's say 33 in the second one, again. Good, 33.5. Okay, then we go to the third one. That is the counter movement jump with arms. So now, it's full coordination. Um, upper and lower body. So here, just down and up, full power. Let's see how well he can utilize his body to get power and jump high. Good, good, good. One more, 40, 42, 42.5, one more, 42.6. Very good, very good improvement. Um, yeah, so it's, um, we, we measure the, the power and we control with the, the numbers we get on the strength and, and see, okay, can they convert the strength? If they do a squat, heavy squat, I'm very strong here. I do a heavy squat, ah, good. And then I go there to jump and there, there's no power. Then all the strength we, uh, we, we are um, developing we are not able to, to convert it into power. So this boxer, it doesn't need more strength training. He needs more power training. Otherwise, he will not get use of all this strength. Sir, what if someone runs slower at Abhishek Malvia? What if someone runs slower at first try in 150 meters and faster in second try at 150 meters? What will the result? Should we consider the same test as best or should we go for retest? If retest required, how much time of recovery should be given to athletes for retest? Two hours or another day? Uh, good question. So in the shuttle run, we run five, 10, 15, 20, and 25 meters. It's very, very, very tough. Rest three minutes, and then we do it again. If they have given their all on the first 
it's impossible that the second one will be faster. Uh, should even once less than one second slower should not be possible. So a good good um, result is between one to one point five seconds slower on the second one. Um, if if they don't recover, uh, it takes two seconds slower, 2.5 seconds slower. So uh, this boxer has very, very poor, poor recovery on, on the anaerobic. So, so this, and the question here is if the second uh, run is uh, faster than the first one, which technically would be impossible, but it happens, it happens. So what are the, what are the explanation? Yeah, probably, the boxer was not familiar with the test, didn't give his 100% or wasn't motivated or just uh, sometimes they miss when, when they go around the, the, the cone um, and so on. So I would, I would uh, retest, but not on the same day. Uh, so give him, uh, usually, if you have a large group, there are some boxers who, who have missed some tests because uh, some minor injury or, or something like that. So after a couple of days or a week, we used to take those who, who didn't um, do or missed some tests or those who weren't there that day, uh, we used to take it uh, uh, the following week. There is also the importance of the order of the exercises. Um, because if you take, for example, on the first day, the last exercise is this shuttle run. And on the second day, the last exercise is the 3000 meter Cooper test. Because if you start with those exercises, all you will ruin all the other tests. So there is there is also a, a, a procedure to, to follow. Uh, those who have questions, we uh, we take them now because I, I'm already. Uh, uh, yes, yes, okay, Mr. Mr. Gupta, we will make some translations. Then we, we take the questions. We will continue with some uh, strength and power exercises. Uh, who are not that technical, so, so that you can start with those exercises for, for your boxers who are not familiar with, with training with a bar. Okay, friends, uh, uh, before going to our physics test, uh, now Abhishek was asking uh, one question. I just wanted to go to medical side. Agar aapka ek patient बड़े कंसर्न है चाहे वो पीजीआई हो एम जो वो कभी भी दूसरे के टेस्ट नहीं मानते उसका एक ही कारण है देयर आर सम प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ टेस्ट अगर आप टेस्ट के उस प्रिंसिपल को फॉलो नहीं करते तो रिजल्ट सारे आपके पास रॉन्ग आ जाएंगे जो हमारे स्पोर्ट्स के टेस्ट हैं उसके तीनों प्रिंसिपल स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन रिलायबिलिटी एंड वैलिडिटी अगर ये टेस्ट के अंदर फॉलो नहीं करते या आप पे रिजल्ट बार-बार फॉलो करते हैं या आप देखते हैं पहले दफा वो 12 चिन अप्स कर रहा था और उसके बाद वो 25 कर गया देयर मे बी सम फॉल्ट इन द टेक्निक या यू कुड नॉट करेक्ट हिम और इवन ही माइट हैव टेकन द मोर टाइम आपने अगर आपके टेस्ट रिजल्ट के अंदर ज्यादा फ्लक्चुएशन है तो डेफिनेटली समथिंग वाज रॉन्ग तो आपने उस चीज को एनालिसिस करने की कोशिश करनी है क्योंकि आपकी जो टोटल ट्रेनिंग है उसकी जो एवैल्यूएशन करनी है या उसको आप असेस करना चाहते हैं कि जो ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम हम फॉलो कर रहे थे उनका कोई पॉजिटिव इफेक्ट हुआ है या नहीं हमारे बॉक्सर के ऊपर जब तक आपके पास रिजल्ट ठीक नहीं आएंगे तो आप आगे वाली जो ट्रेनिंग के अंदर इंप्रोवाइजेशन है या नेक्स्ट ट्रेनिंग शेड्यूल जाए उसके अंदर थोड़ा गैप बन जाएगा इसलिए देखा है आपने कई दफा नाउ अगेन आई विल कोरिलेट विद मेडिसिन आपको कोई बीमारी होती है डॉक्टर आपको टेस्ट कराने के लिए बोलता है आप टेस्ट करवा के लेते हैं डॉक्टर हैव अ लुक एट दोस टेस्ट देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द सीवियरिटी ऑफ दैट डिजीज ही प्रिस्क्राइब यू अगर बहुत ज्यादा है तो मे बी बहुत स्ट्रांग मेडिसिन या लाइट मेडिसिन एवरीबॉडी लाइक कोच दे आल्सो हैव देयर प्रिंसिपल वेदर दे हैव टू गिव अ स्ट्रांग डोज और लाइट डोज सेम हैपेंस इन स्पोर्ट्स अगर आप पे रिजल्ट बहुत इंप्रूवमेंट लेके आ रहे हैं दी ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम विच आर शोइंग इनकरेजिंग रिजल्ट्स कोच में कंटिन्यू और उसी एक्टिविटी को ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट बनाने की कोशिश करेगा इफ द रिजल्ट्स आर नॉट अप टू लेवल ऐसे हमने शुरू के जब हमने ट्रेनिंग सीजन शुरू किया था 
put some target or us target ko us speed ke andar humne achieve karna hai if you are not achieving then coach has to look what went wrong in my training where or uh, athlete was having some problem kai dafa aapka training program theek hota hai jo hamara boxer hai jo hamara athlete he may be having a some problem at home he may be having some injury which he was not open to tell to coach so then the coach can uh, uh, discuss personally with him in the uh, off training hours bhai dekho sab utna kar rahe hain why it is so with you then if he comes out the training program was okay to uh, check up or the training program was going in the right direction all these things are very much needed uh, in the evaluation or in the conducting of the now for uh, uh, today uh, mr santiago has planned the test for each physical quality which we needed or which is very important for a boxer for winning a boxing bout so until or unless we know these tests then secondly we can comparative with the leading countries of the world we russian itne kar rahe hain kazakhstan itne kar rahe hain why our boxers whether they are leading in strength qualities or in tactical aspect or in psychological they aapke jo training program hai unko bhi evaluation karne ke liye madad karta hai so now uh, uh, mr santiago will take some more test then we will put some more light on those test uh, please try to uh, go with more concentration Uh, okay, we will show one more test. I forgot about the hand grip with this hand dynamometer. Grip, grip strength, and full coordination between body. Wait, wait, wait. Thirty-nine point four. Oh, yes, South Pole. Seven point two. Ah, so uh, this test where we uh, with the jumps. and with this where we we give them uh, three chances each and we select the highest score no we select the, the highest in size because sometimes to to learn the test the first one is usually the the second or third one is the best um oh we have <laughs> many questions uh let's see a uh, question from puskal pant what is the difference between first and second squat jump could you please repeat once what is the difference between first and second squat jump so the squat jump and the other one is counter movement jump on the first one i go down to the strongest position from where i feel i can jump and i'm waiting for a signal from a static position and from there boom i jump upwards so measuring the the explosive strength of of legs and and core and on the second one i'm allowed to bounce i'm not using my arms but i'm allowed to bounce which means the the intramuscular coordination and the, the elastic, muscular elasticity uh, if i am good there i will be able to jump higher so in the first one i cannot use my arms and also i cannot use this to, to jump higher but i go down and wait for the signal so i go down here and from from static position go i jump upwards i'm not i'm not allowed to bounce on the squat jump on the counter movement jump same i cannot use my arms but now it, it gives clearance and i bounce here and then i jump and jump up and in the third one we allow to use the arms and then full full coordination between upper and lower body sandeep kumar out of these three trials should we take mean or this best uh, best 
best out of three. Pawan Singh. If a boxer is undergoing Cooper test, then should he need to avoid the one training session a day before in evening to appear in the test next morning? And what are the effects on test if it performed in morning empty stomach without any snack before test? Yeah. So we, we tell the boxers, have a breakfast before you, you go for the test. We don't take them early morning. We used to start 10 a.m. So they go for breakfast between 7 and 8, get a little rest, and then come 10 a.m. for the test. Because doing it with empty stomach, obviously, they will not, they will not perform at their 100%. Number two, we, the starting day, we do it either starting on the Monday, where they have rested on the Sunday and, and the half uh, Saturday many times, uh, or starting from a Thursday, when, where they have rested uh, Wednesday evening. So, so yes, so if you have um, half a day off a session, then you start it the, the next day, so that they come a little fresh. For the test. Ibrahim M. M. Salak, a question. Do you perform mobility tests? Do you measure medicine? Uh, okay, so uh, now this physical test, um, uh, with these tests, we, uh, we don't do it. We, we don't uh, measure, but we have, there are other mobility tests that uh, uh, we have done, but not with, with this system. Do you measure medicine ball throw? Uh, no, we don't. We can add 25 more tests, but there, there is no point. Why, 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 uh, so what we have tried to do is as, as few tests as possible to measure these physical qualities. So, so we don't... We, um, this, I, I will tell you a little, little background uh, about this. In the uh, Swedish Olympic Committee, when they, when they started with this more than 20 years ago, they, they looked at all the tests all over the world, what was, what was doing, and they, they started with 60, 60 tests and, and looked at what, what was practical and, and tried to find good tests that measures what they, what they want to measure and so that they don't need two, three other extra tests. And so they have come up with, with this test battery, sometimes adding um, a new test. There is one, one test we use for the power, which is Harris test which is a, a, small, uh, um, uh, a, a small shuttle around with jumping over and under and, and changing directions, a uh, little, little explosive, uh, but uh, it's also, you need some equipment for that. Do you measure lateral bro jump? No, the one leg, no, because here I'm, I'm not measuring the jump, I'm measuring the, the physical quality, I'm measuring the power. And for, to measure the power, I use jump as a test. And these three tests, they, they tell me uh, what I need to know. So I don't need, I don't need to measure lateral road jump or, lateral, or one leg uh, lateral road jump. I, I, I don't need. If some, somebody else uh, likes this test and maybe more familiar with this test, it's, it's, uh, it's fine maybe for that. But uh, with this test, we have a good experience from this. I have tested the Cuban youth, national youth team with, with this test. We have, we have seen uh, from so many sports, Olympic medalists, Olympic gold medalists, and, and so on. And we used it in Argentina, used it in, in uh, Sweden. And I tried it in India without knowing will it be successful. And uh, I think everybody um, got on board with this test. and, and um, uh, they're, they're working well for us. Still to be, still to be improved, because number one, we don't have the software yet. But still, for us, it's a little useful. Question: How many weeks or months between pre and post post test? They are good question. So we do the full test battery. We do it normally two times a year, and some of the tests, especially the Cooper test, we do one or two uh, two more times. Um, so sometimes you, if you're doing a strength session and, and the boxer feels well and okay, I want to go, I want to, to test in, in, in a squat, full, full squat, they, they can do. Um, but the full test battery, um, I would say every four months uh, would not be bad to, to, have, uh, to have that, uh, that follow-up. In the national, we are doing it twice a year 
And as I said, some of the tests, especially the Cooper test, uh, we test it again. And also, we don't start the camp with the tests because the, the result will be, will be obviously very low. So we give them two to three weeks. We start on the third or fourth week. Then we do the, the tests. And uh, the Cooper test, I would do, uh, I do again after the, <clears throat> we finish with the, the first preparatory period. And there we can see those who still are on very low numbers, one, two, three, those who are still there, there has not been enough improvement. They will continue more with more endurance training before going to, to the strength uh, period. So there we can individualize the, the training better. Jogendra sound, how many reps for one test? So in some exercises, uh, it's a maximum, maximum uh, test, one repetition maximum. So in the squat, in the clean, in the um, uh, bench press. I have the, the bar here, down, touching, touching the, the chest, top and up on straight arms, one maximum. Of course, uh, for the squat, the same. We need to warm up. So usually in the squat and bench press, we start with light weight, eight repetitions. Okay, two, little higher weights. We do six repetitions. Then four, then three, then two, and then we go for maximum. So between the fifth and sixth lift should, should go on, on the maximum. Because if we do too many lifts, they, they will get tired and, and they will probably miss out on the maximum. So, so the, the target in the fifth, sixth, they, they should go for, for the maximum. So they, they warm up in the, in the clean. I think we start with five repetitions. Five, four, three, two, and then one, one, one. So I take one, boom, okay, little more, one, boom, okay, little more. Sometimes, okay, one, but I feel it's impossible. Like I, now I, I burned everything I had, okay, then we stop. Okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, the next uh, question is uh, by Avishek Sa. If we don't have a practice like post at home, running sensor and other equipment for test, please tell other alternative. Uh, my dear Avishek, now you are NOC Rotak. All of the country will be looking at you. Whatever you will ask, you will get all those equipments. Now, if you will not get all those equipments, the coaches at youth and junior level uh, as we have uh, discussed in uh, talent identification, we have to test uh, and collect the data from all regions of the country. For that, we have to form our own uh, standard, uh, uh, we have to design our own test. So NOC Rotak is a big organization for uh, uh, conducting the training for the youth levels in the country. So if we don't get, what uh, uh, I assure you, you will get all those equipments. Agar kisi bhi equipment ke baare mein likhenge, aapko milega. But if you don't get, then we have to come uh, at our own and we have to take the help of Mr. Santiago. For that, we need a, a practical discussion there so that you can come here when the lockdown is over, then we can design various types of stuff. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, one of the things I could uh, in the Hello India program that uh, there's no point to, to try to implement the test if we don't have the equipment. So number one, most of these tests, you don't need equipment. You need only a, a stopwatch and, and, um, and the normal equipment that we have in the, in the boxing gym or, or in, in any, any gym. Um, but for these um, <clears throat> jumping tests, for example, there is, of course, you can do the, the jump and reach test against the wall, but it's not, not as reliable. It's very easy to cheat on, on that test. But at, at a beginner's level, yes, there are other, other tests you can do. So, uh, Abhishek Malvia, sir, in hand grip test, the one who is southpaw will dominate test in left hand, and the one who is orthodox will dominate right hand grip. So what will be the score? Should we compare the previous result with current results, or we have any prescribed 
norms available for different age divisions? Um, no, um, obviously you are a little stronger on, on one side, but we, we, we need to have a balance. So it cannot be that one side is fully strong and the other one is fully weak. So, so um, uh, they, they should come up to, to not too much difference. Uh, yeah, the sequence for all the tests. Uh, let me see if I, I think I have it here. Yeah. So on day one, uh, we weigh the boxers to, to know their exact weight because that is very important for the for the clean, for the bench press, and for the squat. Uh, and the first exercise, I take the, the exercise in order, is squat, maximum squat. Then we do the hand grip, which is very fast. Then um, the pull-ups dips on bar and brutal bench and that day we finish with the shuttle run on the second day we start with clean bench press harris test this um, uh, little run uh, running uh, over under uh, then we do the jumps the sprint and we finish with the cooper test i, I will write i will write in the um, in the presentation with the, the order of the test. Uh, same test for girls. Yes, same test for girls. Uh, we did it in, in uh, Sweden. Uh, we have many, many girls, world champions, European champions, they have done, they can do the, the same tests. Um, so in how many days we can conduct the test, Ramanand? means how much recovery time should we give the athlete for next test? Yes. So, in a, they do the tests like in a, in a, in a normal session. They, they should, they, what we do, um, in one day, we do one, a couple of tests in the morning, then we give them rest and they come back in, in the evening to do, um, do the shuttle run. And the same the next day, they, they finish the first test, they get a little rest, and then they do the Cooper test. So uh, from Bimal Singh, how can we conduct such tests if there is no such equipment available? So um, I, I said, we remove the tests uh, which need the equipment that you don't have. And if you feel that you, okay, you, you, need, you need to replace them with another test, uh, try to find a good test which you can use uh, to, to measure the power or strength or, or, or anaerobic or whatever. But as I said, most of these tests don't require much equipment. You need a, you need a, a bar, a little weight, uh, you need a track, you need a stopwatch, a couple of cones, from Ramanan, how to test the boxer's punching speed and what is the norms? Uh, yeah, so, so to test the punching speed, you need, you need a, a more expensive equipment. So we don't test that. You, you watch in the ring what a good speed is. So I, I try to explain these physical tests, we want to to measure our physical training, to see is it effective, is it improving? Do we need to make some adjustments? And the physical training, we are doing uh, all this training to allow us to do good quality boxing training with high intensity and tough training uh, every single day. So to be able to, to go, go in the ring Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and do, and do all this, we need a good physical uh, overall physical state. We, we, need, we need to build a good athlete who becomes a good, uh, good boxer. Uh, and this we have seen, I have seen the same in India, the same in Sweden, the same in, in Argentina. We have seen in, in different sports in the Swedish Olympic Committee, the top athletes, they are not only better at their sport, they're, they're also physically stronger, more explosive, better endurance, better recovery. They, they can train hard, harder, they recover faster. So, so one key um, component of uh, success is to have a, a good uh, physical state, which allows you to train hard in your sport. 
on, only for that we do uh, all this. That I take a bar and can lift here will not make me a better boxer. But if I apply it correctly, hopefully that training will allow me to train harder in boxing or better, with better quality. 3D Bora, 30 meters flying start is good or standing start for boxing? Good. Uh, so in this test, we start 50 centimeters behind the, the, these uh, cells, photo cells. So we start there and it's not on signal. So we don't measure the, the reaction, start, uh, the re reaction um, speed. So I decide when I go 50 centimeters behind, the photo cell, it starts counting. 30 meters, so yes, flying start. Uh, Yugendra San, what is criteria for test excellent and average? Um, yeah, so what, what I showed, uh, the green numbers, number seven, eight, nine, ten in this uh, part, depending on the, the weight category in many of the tests, uh, is where, where we want to be, where, where our experience, those uh, tests, this, this, this test battery with, with some, some um, uh, differences uh, has been, they, they have, uh, I think, 70,000 tests they have conducted over the last more than 20 years. Um, and man, many, many uh, top athletes and so on. So, so the data uh, of these test results is very, very, very big. Um, so what we have seen in, in boxing that, okay, our best boxers, they are here. And those who are number two, number three, number four, they are a little lower. So, okay, th then we, we want everybody to be here. Otherwise, apparently, the uh, uh, top level boxer should be at this level. So if they are below that, probably they need to improve on the, on the physical qualities to, to reach the highest level. Pankaj Yadav, do we have different tests for different age groups and for novice, intermediate and elite athletes? Do we use the same test for raw athletes, talent identification? So number one, I, I don't use this for talent identification. I don't, I don't believe I, I can uh, identify somebody with, with, uh, with this test. He doesn't know uh, no boxing. So, so uh, what I do, what I do know is that, <clears throat> except for the, the, uh, these tests, which which were marked with an X, uh, like the squat, I would not test uh, full squat on on a on a boxer which I don't know if he he or she uh, have practiced this exercise before. I would never do it in, in a forty year old kid. Um, uh, same with the the clean. The clean is very very technical. If I put a high weight on, on, on a fifty year old kid who never never done uh, a clean, it will be totally useless and and maybe dangerous. Um, but most of these exercises uh, are not dangerous, and so so yes, everybody can do them. That's why I'm all under seventeen with an X. They don't do these exercises. The other exercises they can do. Obviously, somebody who never ran in his life, you go out and all test 3,000 meters. Yeah, you will boom, you will faint and fall, fall down and fainting. So, so it has to be, number one, they need to train. They need to be familiar with, with this type of training. Otherwise, there is no point in, in testing uh, this. Um, uh, from Pavan Singh. Uh, boxing involves a great number of dynamic movements also. So we have done all the tests of strength, endurance, speed, etc. But is there any need to test dynamic balance and flexibility too in these test batteries? Because they are also a great part of boxing. Uh, yes. So uh, I have done uh, before, it was a long time ago, but I used to sit, sit and reach test for, for flexibility or stand and reach if you are standing on a box. I've seen also in Great Britain. Um, currently, we, we, are, we are not doing it, but uh, um, could be, it's, I, I think it's valid. 
Through Shield Koshik, sir, all the tests are same for male and female. And what is the difference between frequency of male and female results? Yes. So the, the chart with the results is the difference. The tests can be done by, uh, by anybody. But of course, the female will, will have the same uh, strength, will not have the same power. So there we, we have, uh, we, I have, I have an old chart, it was many years, uh, uh, I, I used it because uh, I'm not working with the female so much. Um, but we, we have a chart based on, on the Swedish national team uh, for the female also. Rajesh Kumar, how much weight should increase after each repetition to get one repetition maximum of boxer? Um, so if I, if, for example, if I start the squat, I'll give an example. Um, I said five to six um, lifts to, to go to one to one hundred percent. So the first I would start with eight repetitions, fifty percent. So with a light weight, I do eight repetitions. Okay. So rest, then go back, do six. I increase the weight by ten percent, sixty percent, with six repetitions. Okay. Finish there. Then I do five repetitions with 70%. Then three repetitions with 80%. Two repetitions with 90%. And then I go one, one maximum, 100%. And then if I can beat that, 102%, one, I increase with, with one kilo or two kilos. Um, of course, if you, don't, if you have never done the test and you don't know you, what, what is your 100%, then you will not know your 50%. But you have to have a little bit feeling. So, okay, warm up, you do eight repetitions. Okay, I understand. I don't know exactly what is 50%, but I understand. Okay, eight repetitions. Maybe I will start with 30 kilos or 40 kilos. Okay, uh, this was very light. So I go with 60. Okay, I add 10, 10 more kilos and so on. So um, if they have a little experience, uh, that will be no problem. But start from low and increase. Don't start from high and then decrease. So, so the hair, hair, both coaches and, and boxers uh, have to have a little, little uh, common sense. To, to don't start too high. Start from, from low, warm, coming up, warm up, and, and then go for 100%. Another very important thing, uh, especially in the uh, squat and a little bit in the bench press, is that uh, coaches or fellow fellow boxers who who are uh, working together that they, they are they are there to help so if I go down the full full squat here and I can't handle weight then my partner who is supposed to help me can he cannot stand there sleeping he has to be fast to there to remove the weight so we avoid any accident Okay, yeah, we're finishing a little time here. Last, last two questions. Vimal Singh, as per your suggestion, we have to remove equipment exercise. It means we have to conduct such exercise in which we use own body weight or in partner. Please suggest some of exercise. Thanks. Uh, that, um, so if I want to test the strength and um, I don't have the, the hand grip, I don't have a bench press, um, I don't have, uh, then, okay, if you don't, don't uh, then you don't uh, test the strength. Um, I, I will add one thing. For example, in the, in the pull-ups, we said it's an, it's an anaerobic muscular endurance, anaerobic test. But if my maximum, I, I don't know exactly, but I think at eight is the break. So if I, if I am doing less than eight, if I am doing, we have some heavy weights, uh, sometimes the girls, they, they, they can only do one or two or some youth, uh, so, they cannot, so that will not be an um, uh, anaerobic exercise. In the, in the software, it will pop up and go for a strength ex uh, exercise. Okay, um, I will, I will uh, in, the, in the website, we'll put the, um, the exercises with, with the test test description where you can read how to conduct the test. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, upload some uh, videos uh, so you can see how to how to perform the tests. Um, 
because this is also uh, very important. You will get the different results because one coach tests this way and another coach tests uh, a different way. So the, the more we, we standardize, it will actually tell us something. Otherwise, um, sometimes, you know, boxers, they, they, they think short term. So they just want to perform good on the test and, and um, they don't, they don't uh, they do the exercise according to how it actually should be performed. Uh, okay, I think uh, we have to cut there. It's all, uh, almost 5, 5 p.m. Mr. Sacchetti, are you, are you here? I think he's not here. Uh, okay, so uh, we, will, we will send these uh, tests and uh, with the test descriptions so then they, and with the video, so then you have a better understanding of, of the tests. Thank you very much. Uh, tomorrow we have a new session. Uh, I think we have uh, Mr. Kevin on, um, uh, I think, nutrition part uh, or weight management or something like that. Uh, so uh, I thank you. Uh, it was a good session. I was watching and uh, good, uh, you can say, uh, like these are the very good practical uh, issues which we have addressed today. And uh, there was a lot of issues in terms of when we had a discussion with Sai and other different centers. Mm. So I think it will be very useful and we'll put up in our website.